In 1969, my dad, two siblings, and I received our visas. But my mom and two other siblings were denied theirs by Castro's regime. My family was split in half for 23 years. My name is Barbara Arthur, and I am running for Congress against the communist occupying Washington, who seek to impose government control on American people. And yes, against the incumbent, Tom Rice, who voted with them against America, his district, and President Trump. No other candidate in this race will fight harder because for me, this is personal. I am not a politician. I have never had political ambition. But when I saw the intimidation and the communist tactics used against the American people, I panicked. When I saw what this wicked Biden administration is doing with our borders and the promotion and reward of illegal immigration, I was disgusted. My family paid the price to come here legally, but our men and women in uniform, your sons and your daughters paid the ultimate price to protect our borders and our freedom while this immoral administration desecrates their sacrifice. We need to put the Pledge of Allegiance back in our schools and get that indoctrinating CRT out. John Adams said, our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate for the government of any other. I will not divorce God from politics. If the Founding Fathers had done that, we would not have the Constitution. My family and I did not flee Castro's communist Cuba to come to an immoral nation. We came to an America that was founded on Christian principles with morals and values and the opportunity to pursue the American dream. America, we must give this land back to God. The America these Democrats want to create looks very much like Castro's communist Cuba. I will not submit. I pray to God you won't either. I'm Barbara Arthur and I approve this message because America gave me my freedom and I want to keep her free. I will give you a vote and a voice in Washington. No other candidate in this race will fight harder because for me, this is personal.